Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on April the 25th, 2019. India stock market increases India's benchmark stock index gained as the outlook for company earnings outweighed investors' concerns about the prospect of higher oil prices dampening economic growth amid anxiety about the outcome of an ongoing general election. The S&P BSE Sanex advanced 0.1% to 39.107.20, while the NSE Nifty 50 index gained by 0.2%. Both measures swung from earlier losses of as much as 0.1%. The expiry of monthly derivative contracts later today may be contributing to volatility. India imports almost 80% of its oil requirements and a higher price may strain the nation's fiscal and trade accounts, causing a drag on the economy and some company earnings. Seven out of the eight nifty companies that have reported earnings so far have either beaten or matched estimates, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Boeing scrapped its 2019 forecast and holds buybacks. The most valuable U.S. industrial company is reviewing its operations and working to convince regulators, airlines and consumers that the best-selling jet in Boeing history is safe to fly. The manufacturer abandoned its 2019 financial forecast as it deals with the Max's grounding, which began six weeks ago after an Ethiopian Airlines jetliner went down minutes after takeoff. Boeing shares ended the day up 0.4% at $375.46. Boeing delivered 50 fewer 737s than planned because of the grounding, while its profit margins reflected the $1 billion cost resulting from a cut in output of the narrow-body jets. Boeing also booked charges to revise training for pilots and update the Max software, which has been linked to both disasters. Adjusted earnings fell to $3.16 a share, Boeing said in a statement. That was $0.09 cents less than the average of analyst estimates compiled by Bloomberg. Sales slipped 2% to $22.9 billion, in line with expectations. Watchdog blocks Sainsbury's and Asda merger Attempts to create Britain's largest supermarket group have been crushed by competition authorities this morning. Sainsbury and Asda have been told that their merger, announced last year, cannot go ahead as it would simply be bad news for consumer. In a scathing judgment just released, the Competitions and Markets Authority ruled that combining the two firms would have led to high prices, lower quality, a worse range of the shelves, and a poorer overall shopping experience. The CMA also concluded that online shoppers would also suffer from higher prices and reduced quality of service. Motorists could also get stunned, paying more for fuel at over 100 25 locations where Sainsbury's and Asda petrol stations are located close together. That's a blow for both companies, particularly Sainsbury's, the UK's second-largest supermarket chain, which has been losing market share in recent months in the ever-competitive retail sector. Sainsbury had driven the now-defunct merger through a £7 billion takeover of Asda, number three in the market and owned by Walmart. Oil firm on tightening Iran sanctions Oil prices were firm on Thursday, supported by tightening sanctions against Iran, announced this week but held in check by a surge in U.S. supply and concerns of an economic slowdown. Brent crude futures were at $74.74 per barrel. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude futures were at $65.89 per barrel, unchanged from their previous settlement. Crude futures rose to 2019 highs earlier in the week after the United States said it would end all exemptions for sanctions against Iran, demanding countries halt oil imports from Tehran from May or face punitive action from Washington. U.S. sanctions against Iran have denied its government more than $10 billion in oil revenue since President Donald Trump first announced the move last May. The U.S. decision to try and bring down Iran oil exports to zero comes amid supply cuts led by OPEC since the start of the year aimed at propping up prices. On the supply side, U.S. crude oil production has risen by more than 2 million barrels per day since early 2018 to a record of 12.2 million barrels per day currently, making the United States the world's biggest oil producer ahead of Russia and Saudi Arabia.